Hi again, everyone. Tim Brando along with Mike Jaminski exclusively for CBSSports.com here in Washington, D.C., where Notre Dame got another impressive victory on their road uh, to the NCAA tournament. They hope to get there. And, and Mike, let me tell you, uh, Carlton Scott was tremendous. It was a career game for him, and 19 of Ben Hansbrough's 21 came in the second half. Well, we talk about it. You know, you lose an All-American like Luke Herringote, and everybody's got to elevate their game. And Carlton Scott was terrific. He really set the tone inside early. Uh, got, some, got himself going with threes and then worked it in, and he was terrific on the offensive glass as well, was really confident in his shot. I think only one miss on the night, and uh, when you have an efficient scorer like that, it really helps your cause out. Austin Freeman was not uh, himself. He obviously was suffering from uh, flu-like symptoms before the game. It impacted him. He did not start, but Georgetown ha has been indifferent at times on the floor. When they look good, they look fantastic, and sometimes they... They appear lethargic, and today was one of those days. I thought in a couple of areas, one ball handling, some turnovers. They gave up offensive rebounds, which hurt them. But most importantly, it was their defensive effort. They had stretches where they played well, but Notre Dame comes in and shoots 57% <laughs> for the game. And you yeah. do that on the road, you're going to be in most games. Now, the Irish now are at 500. They're 8-8. Eight and eight. They get to play at home this coming Wednesday against Connecticut. A win there, Mike. And regardless of what happens on the road at Marquette, I think Mike Bray's got a solid team going into the Big East tournament that could win their way in with maybe one win one in the or, conference tournament. Yeah, one or two. I think two would really solidify things. But who would have thought when Heron Gody went down yeah. that they'd even be in this, pos in this position? And I think his team has got to have a level of confidence that's off the charts now after two big wins. Yeah, that may be the greatest challenge of blending him back into the mix and keep uh, and, and stay as efficient as they've been without him. Well, they've got the luxury now of making sure that he's completely healthy and they're not risking anything with his return. But this, uh, this <laughs> Notre Dame team is for real. Indeed. Well, that's all for now for Mike Jaminski. Tim Brando reminding you that for continuing sports coverage throughout the week, it's all right here at CBSSports.com.